came off the plane with her as well. And Dana and I participated in one of the things the journal did several months ago, and mm -hmm. that was to read uh, Evans', Evans writings. Yeah. And uh, there were some articles that I was clearly not aware of, but he was writing about the legal system in Russia. And this was a direct assault on how Putin was governing. And he was writing how the accused and the afraid are forced to confess time and time again. Mm -hmm. Putin did not like that at all. I mean, we think the Russians were looking for someone to take. Uh, and funnily enough, really, days before he was seized, Evan and I had had email correspondence. He was asking about the fate of political prisoners in Russia and what we could find out about them. So he was aware of what Russia was doing. He covered Russia in all of its facets. He covered it really well. He covered it only for the Wall Street Journal. And as this has gone on for 60 months, he realized Russia just took him because they wanted to trade him. Mm -hmm. They wanted people back, right. and so they seized him and You're exactly right. made it all up. And, and he knew that. And he knew that, and the Russians knew that. Yeah. Talk about the bravery of somebody like an Evan. And also, I think that this is quite amazing. I want to read to you to this. Yes, at, at the end of, when, when, before they get released, they have to write a letter to Putin, I guess. This is one of the things he included. In the formal high Russian, he had honed over 16 months in prison.